Hi, chem students. Let's do an example of what's uh, often called an integrated rate law problem. Uh, I've looked at what the integrated rate laws are in a video and also how to graphically analyze those. But now, how do you use the integrated rate law itself to, to actually come up with an answer that's useful? So, what you see in front of you is a, a, a very traditional type problem. You're given a reaction, and here's the process that we're talking about. And you're given, in this case, the rate constant for the reaction, and you're just told a very simple fact, that we're going to start with 2 molar of the reactant, allow it to react, and ask the question how long it will take, how long it will take, that means find time, how long will it take until it reaches this concentration. So it's starting at 2, ending at 0 0.05, and that's what it tells you. Now at this point you may be wondering how in the world could I go about answering this because I don't know the order of the reaction. And we have integrated rate laws for every one of those orders. We have 0, 1, 2, 3. It goes on, but we're just doing 0, 1, 2, and 3. So here's how you can get the information about which order this is. So sometimes you're told, in this case, you're being asked to figure it out. It's part of the problem. Do you look at this and say, I know the order? So take a look at what's given and see if there's a clue for you and to decide what you think is, is, is the order of the reaction here. Great, so now that you've had a few seconds to think about it, I'm gonna focus on K because K has these units right now. It has units of molarity to the minus one, seconds to the minus one. And a little trick that I've, I've, I can figure out by doing this with a lot of reactions is that the molarity units here give me a hint as to what the uh, what the overall uh, uh, what the what the order of reaction is. So if I have something that's zero order, and uh, just so we can re re we're always going to have something like this, rate is equal to k times whatever we're talking about. In this case, it's a two raised to some power x. So that means that if I have zero order, I have rate is equal to k times a to the zeroth, which is just one. And that would mean K and rate would have the same units. So for zero order, so for here's my order, and here's my units, I can make a little table. For zero order, I find out that it's molarity per second. If this became first order, if you take a look, the units of, we end up with molarity per second on the left is equal to K times molarity. The molarities cancel, and my k then is equal to, for first order, just 1 over seconds, often written just as seconds to the minus 1. If this was rate is equal to k a squared, then we'd have molarity per second is equal to k times molarity squared. The molarity would there cancel, but not over here. So this would be, if you do a little bit of math, k is equal to 1 over molarity in seconds. So for second order, it becomes molarity to the minus one, seconds to the minus one. And you're thinking, go, oh, I don't want to do this every single time. But what I can do is I can immediately see a trend in how this all pops and plays out. If you take a good look, it's always of the form molarity and seconds to the minus one. And if you look, it this first one if we did 1 minus the order, we would have, for zero order, that would give us molarity, 1 minus 0. This would be 1 minus 0. To the second minus 1, which is molarity per second. If it's the other, uh, first order would be 1 minus 1 times second to the minus 1, since that's molarity to the zero, that goes away and we just end up with seconds to the minus one. And the third one is molarity to the one minus two to the second to the minus one, which is exactly what we said before, molarity to the minus one, seconds to the minus one. So the key thing is I can now know that the units for K, the units for K they follow this right here. You should probably know that it really simplifies our life because now I can go up here, look at my units for K, 
and I can distinguish exactly what the, what the order of this reaction is. Because it's molarity to the minus one, seconds to the minus one, I know it's second order. And that means I know which integrated rate law to use now. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to erase all this now that we know it's second order and actually solve this properly. Okay, so we have a second order reaction. The integrated rate law for second order is 1 over the concentration at any particular time minus 1 over the concentration that we started with is equal to A times KT. And for us, our little a is equal to 1 because that's equal to the stoichiometric coefficient. And as you see, this has got a 1 in front of it up there. So right there is where I got the 1. All right, so I can erase this. It doesn't need to be there. And if you take a look at it, we have k, so we know that value. We have the initial amount, that's 2.0, and we have the final amount. So the only thing we really need to do is solve this for time. So time is equal to 1 over k times the 1 over the initial concentration, or final concentration, 1 over minus 1 over the initial concentration. And then all we have to do is plug these in. So it's going to be 1.35 times 10 to the minus third, molarity to the minus 1, seconds to the minus 1, divided by or 1 divided by all that, times 1 over 0 0.50 molar minus 1 over 2.0 molar. So be sure that you do the math of this first. Do this math first, and then multiply, or then divide by 1.35 times 10 to the minus third. So I get 0 0.5 subtracting away 2, which becomes 1.5. Then I'm dividing by 1.35 raised to the power of 3. And it turns out, and I did not plan this, but it turns out the time for this is 1.1111111 times 10 to the third seconds. Or, because I have uh, two sig figs, it's 1,100 seconds. There you go. Just an example of how to use an integrated rate law. Uh, the only thing I have to remind you is that you don't have to memorize these rate laws. These will be given to you. Um, so that's the bonus. All you have to do is know how to use them. Hope this helps.